Hello, welcome to Ansible for Network Engineers. Over the last 10 months, I've been learning how to use Ansible. I'm consulting with customers on the best use cases for Ansible, and I've built up a library of playbooks for a lot of general network configuration tasks. This course is my journey into network automation and how to use Ansible to automate your network. This course will take you from zero knowledge of Ansible and network automation to having a fully operational network automation system which you can start using today to perform tasks on your network. I'm just going to move me over here a minute. There. As a network engineer, you will have no doubt heard the terms DevOps. NetOps, Net DevOps, whatever that is, Infrastructure as Code, and Network Automation. So what do they all mean? Network Automation is something I have seen coming for a long time now, and I decided to start to learn what it is and how to make it work. To be honest, the networking industry has been pretty archaic in the way that it manages networks. Engineers are still logging into the CLI of every device and making changes. This has been the same for as long as I've been in networking. Mistakes are easily made with no sense checking, version control or automated rollbacks. But things are changing and network automation is already here. There has always been a big hero culture with one network engineer who takes control of the firewall and is the only one who makes changes to the switches. This is great until that guy leaves and everyone is left without any knowledge of how the network operates. Your network needs to be managed by a system, not a single person. The networks of today are evolving and in a lot of cases have already evolved. No longer should you view your network as a collection of boxes, but as a single service. The network should be just there and work with no downtime. So who am I? My name is Roger Perkin. I'm a CCI in routing and switching. I've got 18 years experience in networking. I'm a network and security consultant. I'm a network automation advocate. And I currently work for a Cisco Gold Partner in the UK. So software defined networking. You've probably heard the term software defined networking or SDN, and it has a different meaning to everyone but in simple terms, it is making a system to take the decisions about how your network operates away from the single boxes and pass it over to a central controller. Giving the intelligence of the network into a brain of the network as opposed to single decisions per hop. Now SDN is a discussion for another course, but something to keep in mind. All the other terms I've just mentioned are just different descriptions of taking control of your network and starting to automate the administration and daily operations. You need to treat your network as a service, move the brains to a central controller, configure the network as one, which makes the network more intelligent. Now the networking industry has been very lacking in virtualized devices. The server guys have been doing this for a long time now and compute virtualization has been a big part. We are now starting to see a lot more virtualized network devices which is really driving network automation. Being able to spin up a router in Amazon Web Services and initiate a VPN to that router just by one click of a playbook is something network engineers are doing today. No longer are we performing repetitive tasks over and over. If you're doing it more than once, you need to automate it. Now, a lot of people have been doing network automation in terms of running scripts, running Python, utilizing platforms like Cisco Prime, which do allow you to build templates and push configurations. But a true network automation system incorporates all of these elements into one. So, for this course, we are going to be using Ansible. What is Ansible? Ansible is an open source product which has been around for a few years now and is already heavily used by server administrators to automate repetitive tasks managing thousands of servers. 
it's an open source platform it's free to use and comes with a brilliant online community of like-minded engineers who are already using it it was purchased by Red Hat in October 2015 and network modules are growing every day the number of devices that can be managed by Ansible and the variation of network devices is rapidly growing the main benefit of Ansible is that it is agentless this means that the only requirement for Ansible to administer your network devices is to have an SSH connection to that device. So what will you learn on this course? The course consists of a number of lessons broken up into easy to digest steps. Each lesson will be 10 to 20 minutes in length and will consist of a video plus some notes for further reading we are mainly going to be covering Cisco devices, but also I will touch on Juniper and F5, and we will be using version control within Git and GitHub. Now I must emphasize this course is not going to teach you about network administration, about Cisco devices, how to configure networks. If you are looking for a course on that, you need to look for a, a basic course on network administration. This assumes a reasonable level of understanding of network administration so if that's you and you're already working in a network admin role and would like to learn more about network automation then please continue watching now the two biggest questions I get asked all the time around network automation is do I have to become a programmer and will I have a job in five years if I cannot code now the answer to that question is maybe slightly. You will have to learn some code. You are gonna to have to learn to think programmatically. You are gonna to have to program your network rather than configuring it device by device. Will you have a job in five years if you can't code? Um, you are gonna get left behind. Um, you don't need to completely learn a programming language but you do need to learn a network automation system and something which you can utilize. And just to think programmatically is the main thing in the future of network administration. So what are you waiting for? The course is ready for you. It's got instant access to all the modules. When you purchase a course, you get lifetime access to the course and new modules will be added regularly as I discover new things you can do with Ansible. How do you sign up? So you're watching this video now. Behind the video on the website, there is an Enroll Now button. Just click on the Enroll button now. Choose your payment option so you can pay for the course outright or you can split the payment over four easy payments and then start learning. And the motto of this course is to start with something simple and continue to build. This will be a lifelong journey and as a network engineer, you need to learn these skills to become the network engineer of the future. The current network engineers that are starting now are learning this and have no concept of the way things used to be done. They are learning how to administer networks programmatically. So you need to learn the skills now to continue to advance your career. Thank you for your time. Um, if you need to find out any information about myself and this course, please visit the website rogerperkin.co.uk. And if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, just fire them over to support at rogerperkin.co.uk. And I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thank you.